Hey, I'm Joan. I'm the other half of the Witches of the Crystal Garden. Unfortunately, the coronavirus pandemic is still happening and we are still in quarantine. So me and Danielle are unfortunately still unable to get together to film a video for you guys. So you just get me today. Before we get started on the video, I just wanted to say a big thank you to you guys. You guys have been showing a lot of love and support these past couple weeks on our videos, and we try to read all of your comments and reply to them all, and you guys are so sweet, so thank you. A lot of you guys have requested this video. I believe it was on our witchy thrift store haul video that we did. You guys kept asking for altar tours, so today I'm going to be giving you a little sneak peek into my witchy room and altar. But first, let's go over what an altar is. Altars are a sacred and special place that kind of really helps symbolize yourself as well as your spirituality. Altars can be as simplistic or as elaborate as you want them to be. It's totally up to you of how you want to create your space that works best for your practice. I know I love to use my altar to celebrate, to meditate, set my intentions, do my spell work, or just having a safe space to go when I'm feeling totally overwhelmed with what's happening in the world right now and it's just a great physical representation of your practice. We've talked about it before. I consider myself more pagan or a secular witch, where I know some Wiccans stick to some guidelines of how their altar should be set up. I don't do any of that. So what can you use for an altar? Well, it can be anything. It can be, again, big or small. So you could use a coffee table or maybe a cabinet shelves, a bookcase, it could be a shoebox that you have under your bed if you don't have a space to have one permanently set up all the time. Uh, I've seen people do the little traveling altars that are like Eltoid cans. I mean, you can get really creative of how you create this sacred space for yourself. Now, I know a lot of people are against showing their altar off because it is, again, just a very personal and sacred space for them. So that doesn't really bother me. I think it's kind of fun to be able to show you guys my space. So let's get started. All right, guys, welcome to my space. Do a quick little walk around here. I love these window decals from Rainbow Symphony. I wish it was sunny out because the rainbows that these things shoot out are ridiculous. So normally when me and Danielle do record videos together, we film in my house and we do normally sit on this couch. Unfortunately, <laughs> for how low the couch is, we can never get the cute background that we have here. So Danielle actually made this for me, like I don't even know how long ago. It did light up at one point, but I think the little batteries are um, dead, but I love deer. So you're gonna see that theme a lot throughout my space here. I made this at a bachelorette party. This is probably one of my favorite pieces. Um, my grandma really loved butterflies, so I love just having those little reminders of her in my space, so you'll see a lot of butterflies too. This really cool fortune cup, let me take this stuff out. It was gifted to me by my dear friend Kelly. Oh, there's a bunch of crap in there, ew. <laughs> How cool is that? I also love the moon, so you're gonna see a lot of that as well. Also this mirror, super fun, I love the little tassels on it. All right, I just put this shelf up the other day. I've had it for a while, but I just never got around to actually hanging it up. But it just kind of adds that extra little cottage witch vibe. <laughs> and again, just because my altar looks like this doesn't mean that yours has to. Your altar should be very personalized to your practice and what tools you use the most in your practice. Now, although I don't really practice Wicca. Um, when I first started my journey, I definitely thought that was the route I wanted to go. But as I went on and just kind of did more research and learned more about witchcraft, I realized I wasn't Wiccan. But I still do have a god and goddess on my altar. Um, yeah, but we have little Abe Lincoln here as one of my gods. Again, deer, so I have a stag that also represents my god. Goddess, I know this one was in our thrifty video but this cute little brass or bronze, whatever this is, little dough, as well as a mermaid. Oh, there goes my bell. Got my wand up here. Look how cute this little thing is. Got all my herbs, no mortar and pestle back there. My little cauldron. <laughs> 
I can't wait for my Amazon order of candlesticks to come in because mine are all dead. Dead. R.I.P. Got some of my smoke wands here. I'm gonna come down here. I got this beautiful box at the thrift store for only a couple bucks and I keep my tarot cards in there. Danielle also made me this beautiful little woodland scene with some deer and an owl. And then I keep all my journals in here, my moon journals, my dream journals, my little suspicious box. I just kind of keep my charcoal discs as well as other resins and incense in there. I love this little cabinet. It's just super cute with the triple moon goddess on it. All right, so that was my altar in my witchy room. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had fun, I hope you did. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel here. Let us know what other kind of videos you'd like us to do down below in the comments. And be sure to follow us on all social media platforms of, at Witches of the Crystal Garden. We'll link everything down below. All right, bye guys.